after that result, at the weekend, a result which leaves you firmly staring relegation in the face? We've still got a chance of staying up. Simple as that. Yes, we need a favour from Ross County. We need to take care of the business on Wednesday night then and put a huge amount of pressure on Hamilton for the last game of the season. So it's, it's still there to play for. We're still fighting. We'll go till the end. It was a missed opportunity, really. And it's not as if you haven't had chances, you just haven't taken them. Yeah, look, unfortunately, it's a first goal. It's an individual mistake. Disappointing. Second one, it's too much space to pick the ball up, too much space to run at us. And we defended that one poorly, but we were a better team, created chances. Alex Fisher has a one on one two minutes into the game, he scores that. It's probably a different outcome and it's probably the story of the season as well. So too many individual mistakes and, and not taking our chances when we had them. What was the dialogue after the game with the players? I told them to get their heads up. It's a really good performance when there was massive amount of pressure on their shoulders. The desire was there, the hunger, the passion. More clinical in front of goal and, and we could have won the game, but really pleasing us because we didn't drop our heads after the first goal. We took the game to them, we kept positive, we, we changed the shape, brought in bikers on, we improved, we got the ball down more, we tried to play through the midfield a bit more and it suited us. For, uh, I thought it was a really good performance, although we were beaten and we're disappointed in it, but we move on, we move on now to, to Wednesday night. But sometimes in the situation where you, you're presented with uh you know, a scenario where you just have to go out and, and do your best, as, as as the cases might become, you know, the next match against Dundee, then, you know, the, the, is there any sense that the pressure might be lifted at all from the players there? Yeah, I think it's, it's still going to be there. You like, you'll always have that pressure. And, but I think we're coping with it very well. You know, if we can get a couple of points behind having gone into the last game of the season, then the pressure just shifts straight to them. A massive amount of pressure, and can they go and handle that? You're not sure, but we've got to take care of the business. We need six points and as long as the results to go our way. And so we're still there, we're still fighting, we're hanging in there. We've got a small chance. You touched on that, you need Ross County to do you a favour tomorrow night. Are you going to go to that match? No. No. I'll send someone to, but I won't be done. And then you have to obviously beat Dundee. Does the fact that there's no middle ground, you have to win, make preparing easier for the game? We prepare like we always do and what I will say is we probably put our best performance of the, se of the season in down there and we got beat 2-1. It was ways of attack, we played them off the park, we couldn't score that, that game either so but we take a lot of confidence out of that performance and it's a fantastic football park to play as well, to so play on so we're hungry, we're hungry to stay in this league, we're still fighting, we can't wait now for Wednesday night. You said about the preparation but how frustrating has it been and I mean has it been over the course of the season you said about individual mistakes I mean this is something that's cropped up time and time again you can only do so much throughout the week but then when you know that that failing comes down you know then obviously you know that that's that's out with your hands it is indeed it is indeed and but look at these players work so hard so hard and I'll keep on talking about their, their individual mistakes they're a wonderful bunch of lads they're working in there they're, all, they're really disappointed in the mistakes that they made and maybe it's just been one of those seasons where we, we've had a lot, you know, it's, whatever happens we put this season behind us and, and we go again next and, and there's no way you can make as many individual mistakes next season, it's maybe we've just been very unlucky with that. It's, uh, what will your message be to the, the players just before the run out onto the pitch at Dennis Park? Hunger, desire, passion and pride like it has been the last few weeks. We deserve it, the supporters deserve it, the club deserves to see that. Maybe there hasn't been enough of that throughout the season. It's been some good football play, but maybe not enough of the passion and the pride and the fight. I'm working back to park. It's going to be a tough one, because Dundee have been flying under New York. Yeah, done very well. They got, they got a big, big boost, and, which normally happens when the new manager comes in. And, They've done very, very well and they're a good side with a few ex-players there as well, but we're very confident of going there once a night. Is there any uncertainty in the players' minds that they're already down? Something that make? No, no, looking at today's training, no. Very positive session we had today. We were full of hunger, full of fight, full of good attitude, so no. We've got fighters in there, we'll keep fighting till the end.
Just team news. Team news is it's just Alex Fisher from the weekends, mild concussion, so I think it'll be okay.